Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for July 15th, 2020. So yesterday, we, we came into the market yesterday with bearish reversal patterns showing on all the indexes, but the bears were unable to follow through after JP Morgan beat analyst estimates on earnings and we began to rally. There was a late day surge in the last half hour of trading. There was a massive surge in the market, pushing the indexes up and leaving us on Tuesday with another full on reversal this time to the upside. After the market closed, we got news of Madrona uh, vaccine, um, lifting the futures even higher. And then this morning, we have already received earnings reports from Goldman Sachs, suggesting their trading results were far better than expected and the market is zooming higher this morning. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we buckle up, settle in, and let's get ready for the hump day edition of the morning market prep video. So this morning we have a very different picture than we had yesterday. Um, we had a reversal on Monday, now a reversal on Tuesday pushing things significantly higher. So let's take a look at what we've got going on here. And we have an interesting dichotomy in the, in the market that is really perplexing and a little bit difficult to get our head around. But let's, at least for me anyway, let's take a look and see what we've got going on here. First off, let's point out that at the moment we are remaining in this bullish pattern here in the chart and having broken back through this resistance we are now up here this morning we're going to be testing this island reversal resistance in the chart see if we can break through that here on the dow that means that we have also crossed solidly back up above the 200 day moving average which we have struggled with for the last month or so in the market Lots and lots of bulls here this morning, pushing higher and higher and higher. So we have a bullish reversal here and we're getting a follow through this morning. That's significant because we didn't get a follow through from the bearish reversal that we saw on Monday. Let's take a look at the SPY, SPY also really rallying hard yesterday it was not able to overcome that bearish reversal candle on monday um, at the end of the day but this morning we're gapping significantly above that as a matter of fact it looks like we're going to push for a new record high in the spy today just a tremendous bullishness um, here this morning um, as we continue this wild volatility and back and forth whip in the market let's take a look at uh, the q and by the way 50 crossing up through that 200 day moving average we are in full on bullish mode and i think there's a chance we could break above that island reversal today we still have a ways to go and obviously resistance to deal with in this spy chart if we're going to make um, record highs the same with the diamonds we get the impression that it's an all clear up to the upside but not necessarily we still got a lot of work here to do overall let's take a look at the Q's. qqq rallying up significantly significantly um, yesterday but was not able to show as much strength as the other indexes which was interesting and uh, and i will explain that in just a little bit but this morning we're getting a little gap up here this morning we have yet to reverse this big old bearish engulfing candle here on the NASDAQ, which is an interesting situation. And um, I think there may be a bit of a reversal um, going on here in the market or a um, not a reversal but a rotation beginning to occur here in the market so let's go ahead and uh, the trend here is still very bullish there's no sign of potential failure except that bearish engulfing candle and then an iwm nice little rally back up yesterday holding that 50-day moving average 
However, it was not able to push right on through and show us that full on bullish reversal. But this morning we're getting a massive gap up here in IWM as those financial stocks are starting to perk up. And as you can see, pushing up here to test that 200 day moving average. Now keep in mind, we have failed here multiple times. So we'll wanna be aware of that just in case we get this huge gap up um report today but unable to follow through that possible pop and drop um, hopefully that doesn't occur again today and let's watch that very closely let's take a look at the vix now the vix is one of those perplexing um situations that we have in the market we're pushing up into these record highs we're trying to break out of resistant high levels and yet our vix remains extremely elevated um, we closed the day at a 29 and a half handle the market is giving us the impression that we're not worried about anything that it's all bulls all the time but we're not actually getting those signals in other places. So the VIX remains very elevated. And what that means is we can still expect that really high volatile market and those possibilities that we can continue these big whipping swings in the market. So one of the things we have to do in a market like this is we have to be very, very cautious, very careful, be picky about the trades that we take. And remember, if you've made some good money in these moves, take some profits because it can disappear in that next move. Watch that pretty closely um, as this VIX stays really high, really elevated, um, making for a, a bit of a concerning situation here in the market. Let's take a look at another metric. T2101, this is also quite perplexing in the sense that we continue in our absolute breadth of the market, we continue to decline, suggesting that we have fewer and fewer stocks continuing to hold the market up. And here's the other thing in this chart that's really interesting is that um, we're trying to hold on to this support level right here. We failed it just a little bit yesterday trying to hold on now it'll be it'll be interesting to see if uh, today's move actually starts to regain some of that market breadth but if we continue to see a sink in market breadth as we rally that's a bit of a, a head scratcher and something that we're going to have to stay um, well it, it just tells us we need to really stay on our toes and remain flexible in the market just in case we get that whip the other direction um, after this morning's big um, open let's take a look at t2122 which is the four week new high new low ratio and what we see in the four week new high new low ratio very interesting yesterday it's kind of confused itself yesterday we opened down here we were in the bullish reversal zone on the open yesterday and then rallied back up sharply i suspect this morning we are going to be up here in the bearish reversal zone full on whipsaw reversal making it pretty challenging now if we gap all the way up into here and we see the absolute breadth index continuing to, to decline that's going to make for a very difficult um, for some very difficult decisions for traders to navigate are we really bullish or is this just pumped up a pretty interesting situation here in the market and kind of a difficult um, thing to manage or navigate as we continue to spread out in these really weird um, reactions in the market. Now I can tell you in 30 years of trading the market, I've not seen such a disparity in, in things where we have such an elevated VIX and an elevated market and market breadth falling and just this confusion. Um, we're not getting um, any kind of clearness in the price action as well with all of these whips. So we're going to have to stay very, very flexible and go bulls. You know, we want to see those bulls work, but let's um, make sure that we don't overcommit in this market and remember to take those profits because those profits could slip out of our hands really, really quickly if these whips continue. 
Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today and realize that we do have uh, some things on the economic calendar that we're going to want to pay attention to today beyond earnings. Um, notice that here at 8.30 this morning, we're going to get the Empire State Manufacturing Survey and import export prices. Now, I suspect earnings um, earnings today are going to um, overshadow anything that happens in the economic reports, but we'll want to keep an eye on them anyway, just in case there's a surprise number or something in there. We do have industrial production. That's probably one of our bigger movers today. Um, it's expecting a little bit uh, an improvement over last month, but still a pretty depressed situation overall in industrial production. Um, and at least that's what the consensus is suggesting. And we have the petroleum status report. We know how that can move things around in that oil sector um, when that comes out. So watch those numbers today. We have a Fed speaker here today, as you can see, and we'll want to pay attention um, as that Fed, whoops, you can't even see that. We have a Fed speaker here today, we'll want to pay attention to that, and then the beige book um, later on today. That sometimes moves the market a little bit, but rarely, so keep an eye on that. Remember, tomorrow we have the big day. We've got um, our biggest day with some of those jobless numbers again coming out so we'll want to pay attention to that let's take a look at our earnings calendar today we have um, a significant number of earnings today um, with about 27 companies reporting earnings so let's take a look at some of those companies and how they're reacting here this morning I'm gonna go to what I call a, a naked chart without any um, indicators on it so we can really clearly see that price action if we go to um, Alcoa Alcoa reporting this morning looks like they're gapping a little bit higher this morning so good report on Alcoa keep that in mind those metal seem to be doing quite well right now uh, BK BK Bank of New York um, is reporting today it looks like it's moving just slightly lower at the moment maybe it hasn't reported yet but moving just slightly lower this morning we have Goldman Sachs ripping the cover off the ball here um, apparently hitting a home run in earnings gapping up this morning to test some resistance highs in the chart let's notice that those resistance highs still have a lot of work to do to get up there to all new highs and that that is actually a fairly significant price resistance in the chart gapping up to that so we'll have to see if there's follow through beyond that point um, take a look at INFY INFY reporting today big gap up on INFY gapping up looks like into price resistance highs again a lot of that going on here recently where we're pushing up into resistance highs PNC PNC financial looks like well maybe we haven't had a report here yet but looks like it's a set right now to open about where it closed um, we have US B reporting this morning looks like they're looking for just an ever so slight move up and UNH UNH reporting this morning and um, not seeing that report here yet looking to open about where it closed um, so those are some of the notables that we'll want to pay attention to today Goldman Sachs really leading that market right now. Currently, Dow futures are up 482 points as Goldman seems to be um, really powering higher here and powering the market higher. Along with that Madrona news that said that they have a vaccine that they're hopeful of, um, that in trials um, shows a good immune response. So that is a, a good sign as well. We'll see how that carries through for the rest of the day. So watch that closely and be careful with that little bit of confusion that we have going on here in the market. So with that, everyone, hey, I wanna wish you all a great day in trading and hopefully you're gonna catch some really nice profits here this morning. Um, Please do me a favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon 
so that you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. And if you find these videos to be help, helpful, um, I, I really do try in these videos to avoid any of the hype, any of the prediction. We just look at the technicals of the chart, look at the price action of the chart, and hopefully um, that helps you in deciding how you want to approach the market for the day. If you find that useful, please click those thumbs up buttons and also leave a brief comment. It helps us to continue to grow the channel. I want to say thank you so much to everyone who does do that. You guys are awesome. So with that, how about we take a look at some stocks that are setting up. And at the beginning of this video, I mentioned the fact that there may be a bit of a rotation starting to occur. If we take a look at the NASDAQ, we do know that the NASDAQ has really outperformed everything in the market, setting new record highs. It's as if nothing is happening in the world except bullishness um, in the NASDAQ. Well, one of the things that we saw yesterday is the NASDAQ struggled a little bit in its rally and noticed that it's struggling just a little bit today. We haven't even um, rallied back more than halfway up that big black candle. What I think might be occurring is a little bit of rotation out of tech. This is a little bit stretched and I think we maybe see some NC um, some institutional rotation out of tech. And what's interesting is I'm starting to see it show up in uh, defensive sector stocks. So take a look at stocks like MDLZ. Um, Mondelez, a big price move yesterday. Now this still has some work to do. There's no doubt about it. This is not out of the woods yet. Still a downtrend to be challenged here. Um, and a little triple bottom type thing to come on, uh, coming in here. So a breakout here would be important. But MDLZ getting a big kick up yesterday. Um, take a look at KHC. Kraft Heinz, big move up yesterday powering through trying to pop through. So what I'm seeing is a bit of a move into higher dividend paying stocks. That means that we may be rotating out of those uh, big gross stocks that have really stretched themselves and maybe overstretched themselves. And we may see that institutional shift now. Um, think about it, if, if they've made tremendous money over um, the last several months in this rally of being heavy tech, then all they have to do is rotate into some defensive stocks, pick up some dividend yields, and they're going to produce really good results this year for their customers. So there may be a move there into more of that defensive sector. We can still see um, stocks like Clorox getting a big move, um, Campbell Soup, Campbell Soup trying to push up here. We're seeing those dividend yielding stocks starting to gain some value. Um, Verizon, big move up yesterday um, as we head into there's those big dividend yielding stocks trying to move up. And I'm seeing that in a lot of places. We even saw nice moves in grocery yesterday. Kroger getting a nice move trying to break out. So a lot of those defensive sector type stocks moving up strongly. Walmart in a big move. Now this is partially news because Walmart is, is going into a um, driving competition mode with Amazon. So pushing up here um, on some of that news as well. But kind of an interesting thing seeing a lot of those defensive sector stocks really gaining some ground yesterday. What's also interesting in that dichotomy that I was talking about, it doesn't seem to be a normal situation in the market when we're rallying strongly in the market that we're also seeing um, gold rally. Gold had a little bit of a pullback here and you can see um, we pulled back in this trend and now we're popping higher. This is Barrick Gold and popping up here strongly yesterday. Let's take a look at the GLD index itself. GLD pushing up here strongly um, and showing lots of strength overall. Looks like this morning it may pull back just a tiny little bit, but it's been rallying with the market, which is a little bit of a concern. 
We also have silver in rally mode and it looks like silver is going to uh, continue that rally mode this morning. And copper, um, FCX, FCX moving higher um, and working a breakout here in this chart. And as you can see, showing lots of strength and gapping higher this morning. So it's interesting that we're seeing those um, metals move substantially higher with the market, which is more of that safety play. So kind of keep that in mind as you watch some of these charts. Not really sure what's going on here, but we'll want to watch them carefully. Other places that you might look, there was a nice move in Coca-Cola yesterday. It's got to report earnings yet, but it a nice move up in coke and we also saw pepsico which is again defensive sector stocks trying to move higher and hold up so watch those carefully so with that everyone i want to wish you all a fantastic day and i want to wish you great profits in your trading y'all take care be safe watch out we had over 65,000 infections yesterday in coronavirus and over 900 deaths so keep yourself safe keep your family safe this isn't something to mess with everyone take care of yourself have a great one and we'll see you right back here bright and early thursday morning have a good one everyone.